How do you survive with short nails? My name is Sean Beavers and I've been playing classical guitar for 29 years and I'm going to talk about this topic. Um, sometimes we break a nail or chip a nail and it's less than ideal, but you need to keep practicing, you need to keep playing. How do you deal with it? Uh, one obvious solution is simply to put on artificial nails. And this is certainly something that I do from time to time. I had artificial nails on about a month ago and they work fine uh, when needed. But sometimes you break a nail, but yet it's still usable. And if that's the case, how do you adapt uh, to that? Well, for me, there are three components of how I want to um, set up my nails for guitar playing. There's the length, shape, and smoothness. And even though the length is less than ideal on a broken nail, I want to still get my ideal uh, shape and smoothness. So I'm generally going to want kind of an upward ramp uh, from where this, the string initially contacts the uh, fingertip and the nail, sort of an upward ramp across, and then I'm going to round the corners. Uh, that's my uh, shape. And then of course I'm going to want to get it as smooth as possible with 500 grain per square inch sandpaper. Uh, so nothing's changed on the shape and smoothness. Uh, regarding the length component, uh, what I'll actually do, and it's sort of counterintuitive at first, is I'll shorten the good nails a little bit to help match up with the nail that I broke so the length is not too dissimilar among them. So the middle and ring finger nails are currently broken. I've shortened the index finger a little bit uh, so that it matches up with the middle and the ring. Uh, so the first thing I'll do, I'll make sure the shape and smoothness of the broken nail are good. Uh, then I will adjust uh, the length of the good nails uh, to not be too dissimilar from the broken nail. And then uh, the third thing I'll do is I'll just spend some time planting on the string and getting used to my new contact point. Anytime you have a shorter nail, it's going to have a different contact point than a longer nail, and so you just have to get used to that. So I just spend some time kind of feeling the string noticing the sound, adjusting um, to get the best sound I can with the little amount of nail that I have left. And worst case scenario, I may have to resort to artificial nails. Uh, but when that nail is first broken, um, I'll, I'll often see if I can make it work and, uh, and make it play without having to resort to the artificial nail. Uh, so to recap, Make sure the shape and smoothness of the broken nail are good. Adjust the length of the good nails to match the broken nail. And then spend some time planting on the string and really feeling the new contact point on the broken nail. Whatever happens to your nails, keep making music. And if you enjoy these videos, don't forget to subscribe. You can get my free guide, How to Supercharge Your Guitar Practice, with lots of practical tips on taking your guitar playing to the next level. To get it, go to seanbeavers.us slash subscribe.